Are you a video content creator? Maybe you have a membership website or an online course. If so, have you ever explored Amazon Web Services S3 cloud storage? It's possible that you may have, but you likely ended up in one of two predicaments. One predicament is that it looked so complex that you may have simply just gone elsewhere. Or perhaps you couldn't make heads or tails on the pricing for their services. Well, the team here at Fly Plugins has been able to solve this issue for those in either one of these predicaments. In this video, I want to show you some of the benefits with using S3 to host your videos along with the method to calculate the cost for those of you who can't figure out the pricing thing. Hi, I'm Ben and I'm the co-founder of Fly Plugins. On this YouTube channel, we provide tips, tutorials, and strategies for creating and selling online courses. Back in 2010, we were getting ready to launch our online course. Our primary method for course delivery was through video. Since we were just starting out, we knew we needed something affordable, not to mention something powerful and fast enough to deliver a great student experience. But the primary concern was video protection. After all, we'd spent so much time recording and editing video and we didn't want internet thieves to come along and steal our videos. We finally settled on AWS S3 for file storage and CloudFront CDN to deliver our video course quickly and efficiently. If you aren't familiar with CloudFront Content Delivery Network, it's simply a worldwide network of data centers called edge locations that serves up your content. Because there are multiple edge locations around the world, your content will be served up at lightning speeds. We then had to figure out a way to make AWS S3 and CloudFront interact with WordPress if we wanted to take advantage of securing our videos to prevent internet sharing, which is when we developed, you guessed it, S3 Media Maestro. However, there were two problems. The first problem is that the AWS console's user interface is as confusing as sitting in the cockpit of a Boeing 747 assuming you're not a pilot. Seriously, the AWS console was designed for developers and not average people like me. But we were able to solve this because we've added full integration for AWS right into the S3 Media Maestro plugin, which basically allows you to fully manage your buckets and folders and upload files without having to leave your WordPress site. In my opinion, that's a game changer. The other issue was that it was hard to estimate what you'd be charged to store and serve up video on S3 and CloudFront. I mean, they had their price per gigabyte listed on their website on a pricing page, but if you're like me, trying to figure out that formula for that is like Peyton Manning trying to determine the wind resistance on a 30 yard football pass in winter at Mile High Stadium. Fortunately, AWS wised up and the team at AWS created a detailed pricing calculator for all their services. S3 and CloudFront are just two of the many services they offer. Let's take a look at the AWS calculator. I will place a link to the calculator in the description below. Okay, let's open up the AWS simple monthly calculator. First, let's deselect the free usage tier as it's only a promotional model so we can get a real idea of our monthly costs. There are two parts to calculating S3 costs, storage and data transfer. Storage pricing is easy to calculate. You simply have to pick your region, which would be geographically closest to you, and then enter the size of your video or videos in gigabytes. For example, if we store 36 gigabytes worth of video files, it will cost around 83 cents. Again, this is depending on the region you selected. Notice the boxes for put copy post list requests and get select requests. This is basically the act of uploading and or watching video files on your website. The cost for these requests is pretty nominal. However, just to illustrate, if you had an online course with let's just say 25 students and they were watching videos that you had uploaded, we could use a nice high number like 10,000 requests, which is unlikely by the way, but just for this illustration, we see that it increases the price by a whopping six cents. Needless to say, that cost is pretty insignificant. 
Now we need to calculate the data transfer. Data transfer is a bit more involved, but I'm going to help simplify this for you. Let's take a look. One thing to keep in mind is that a video created with a resolution of 720p will require around 0.9 gigabytes, almost a gigabyte of data transfer per hour. And 1080p will require around 1.5 gigabytes per hour. That said, let's do a little math. Let's say that you create 10 hours of 1080p video for your online course where you have 25 students. What would your monthly charge be? To calculate the storage portion, you simply tally up the number of gigabytes of all your videos. If you've not created video yet, but you know that you'll likely be creating, let's say 10 hours of video, here's your formula. The recommended bit rate for 1080p is eight megabits per second but it may vary depending on your preference. That said, we will take the eight megabit and multiply it by 3,600 seconds. So eight megabits times 3,600 seconds is equal to 28,800 megabits. If we convert that to gigabytes, we simply divide that number by 8,000, which gives us 3.6 gigabytes per file size for a one hour 1080p video. Now we just multiply that number by 10 since we will have 10 one hour videos, which leaves us with 36. So now we simply fill in our storage number. Now for the data transfer. Remember 1080p requires 1.5 gigabytes of data transfer per hour. 10 hours of video at 1.5 gigabyte is equal to 15 gigabytes per student per month. Now we need to take that number and multiply it by number of students, which is 25, which would leave us with 375 gigabytes of data transfer per month. If we plug that number into our calculator, our monthly price is now $34.55. Not bad for hosting 35 gigabytes of video, right? Okay, so let's say that you know you will likely have students coming in globally from around the world into your membership or course site. This means you'll likely want to take advantage of CloudFront to deliver those videos up at lightning speed. If we use the Amazon CloudFront calculator, all we have to do is plug in a few numbers that we already know. Data transfer out is going to be 375 gigabytes. So punch that number in. Average object size is 3.6 gigabytes, which is the, the size of each video. But we need to convert that down to kilobytes. To do so, we simply multiply by 1 million. So basically it would be 3.6 million. Then if we split the cost four ways to the US, Europe, India, and South America, we will be charged roughly $55.32, which brings the grand total to $89.87. Now, if you are bootstrapped, I know that you are trying to keep your costs down. However, this is actually very affordable when you consider that 25 students could potentially be paying around, let's just say $200 each for your online course, which gives you about $5,000 in income. And if you continue to enroll more students, the price of your S3 bill will slightly increase, but it will do so in proportion to the number of students watching your videos. And that's how you determine how much it will cost to host your video on AWS. We highly recommend it, and it's also the reason we have built S3 Media Maestro. If you've not yet seen what S3 Media Maestro is all about, I will put a link to S3 Media Maestro in the description below. Be sure to check it out. If you found this video useful, please give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to this channel. Oh, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you're notified when we release more helpful videos just like this one. Do you use another service to host your videos? If so, let me know in the comments which service you are using and if you are happy with them. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.